Good day everyone! So for today's video, we are going to discuss something about circles and its standard equation. Back then, we have defined circles as a locus or a set of points equidistance from a fixed point called the center. And this common distance is the what we so-called radius. So we'll now derive the standard equation of the circle using this illustration. Let us draw a circle with center HK. Let's say, for example, this is the center. We will name it as C with coordinate HK. Alright, so we have here a circle. Alright, suppose that that is a perfect circle. And then, we'll locate a point anywhere on the circle and we'll name it as point P with coordinates in X, Y. So, if I am going to connect point P to point C, then that would become my radius. Hence, we can say that segment PC would be our radius. Now, how are, um, how are we going to get the distance from point P to point C? And if we're talking about the distance, then kilalang kilal na po C distance formula. And, and as a review, the distance formula states that for us to get the distance between two points, then we have here the square root of the square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 square plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 square. Hence, x sub 1 natin would be the abscissa of point P. This is x sub 1 and this is y sub 1. While sa point C, that would be our x sub 2 and this will be our y sub 2. Okay? And if we are talking about the distance from point C to point P, uh, we have just said that that is our radius. Meaning to say, if we are looking for the distance from P to C, then we are actually talking about the radius. Alright? So, meaning, radius is equal to, let us now plug in the, the coordinates to our formula. So, that would be 1. X sub 1 would be X minus minus x sub 2, that, that would be h square, plus y sub 1 would be y, that is y, minus y sub 2 would be k. And then we have here square. And then manipulating this, square both sides, para matanggal po yung radical side, that will actually yield to the square of x minus h, x minus h square, plus y minus k square equals r square. So meaning, if we are talking about um, a circle at any at any center, then the standard form of the equation of the circle would be this one. Okay, and ito po yung gagamitin natin in, in dealing with our problem. Okay, again, the standard form of the equation of the circle would be x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. So let us have some examples. We are to determine the, the standard form of the equation of the circle with center at negative 3, 5 and the radius of 9. So again, the standard form of the equation of the circle is x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square and since we are given the center at negative 3 comma 5 and the radius of 9 then we can just plug it into our formula okay so that would be what that would be negative 3 would be our h and 5 would be our k and then we have to plug in so we have we have x minus Negative 3, that would be our h square plus y minus 5, minus 5 square equals the radius which is 9. So we have here 9 square. And then simplifying, what is to be simplified? That would be equivalent to x. So this is negative times negative. That's becomes, that becomes positive. So we have x plus 3 square plus y minus 5 square equals the square of 9 with that would be 81. Now, given the given the center of the circle at negative 3 comma 5 and a radius of 9, 
the standard form of the equation of the circle would be x plus 3 square plus y minus 5 square equals 81. And if we are going to uh, if we are going to draw the the circle, then that would be let's say for example this is our Cartesian coordinate system. So we're gonna have the center is at negative 3, comma 5. So we have negative 3, 1, 2, 3, comma 5. So that is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if this is the circle, and then we we are told that the radius is 9, we will count 9 units uh, to the left, to the right, and up and down to for us to illustrate the circle. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this would be the this will be one of the points of the circle. And then we're going to trace them. We're going to trace them to illustrate our circle. So that's how we graph circle uh, on our partition coordinate system. So it is very easy for us to determine the standard form of the equation of the circle. Let us now proceed with our next example. Suppose that uh, the circle, uh, we are to find for the standard form of the equation of the circle given the center at negative 2, comma 4 and is tangent to y equals 8. Okay, so to solve this kind of problem, it would be better for us to illustrate it first. Okay, suppose this is our Cartesian coordinate system and the center of the circle is at negative 2, 4. So we have we are 1, 2, Negative 2, then positive 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright. So here is the center of the circle. Now, uh, the, the circle is tangent to y equals 8. So nasan po ba si y equals 8? So magbibilang tayo ng 8 units upward. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here is y equals 8. Ito po si y equals 8. And ang sabi, the circle is tangent. Okay? The circle is tangent to y equals 8. And for us to determine the length of the radius, we're going to what? We are going to count the numbers or count the number of units from the center down to the point of tangent c. Okay? And if the center is at negative 2, comma 4, then we're, magbibilang tayo hanggang kay y equals 8. So that would be 1, 2, 3, or yeah, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Hence, the, the distance from the center to the point of tangency would be 4 units. And if the, if the distance from the center down to the point of tangency is 4 units, then we can say, that the radius of the circle is also 4 units. We have now just concluded that the radius or the, the length of the radius of the circle is 4 units. So we are now ready to uh, get the standard form of the equation of the circle. We'll be having the center at negative 2, 4 and the radius na sabi natin kanina is 4 units. Uh, by plugging in the, the necessary values to our standard form, that is x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. So, si h natin ay si negative 2 and si k natin is si positive 4. So, that would be x minus negative 2 square plus y minus 4 square equals r square, that is Four square and then simplifying what is to be simplified. So, ito po ay magiging positive. That would become x plus 2 square plus y minus 4 square is equivalent to 4 square is 16. Hence, the standard form of the equation of the circle with center at negative 2, 4 and is tangent to the line y equals 8 is x plus 2 square plus y minus 4 square equals 60. So let us now proceed to our next example. Our next example is for us to determine the standard form of the equation of the circle wherein a line passes through the center of the circle 
and it also passes through A at 2 comma negative 3 and B at na at negative 6 comma 9. So for us to do that, let us first illustrate the given. Okay, if this is our Cartesian coordinate system, sabi dyan, passes through A at 2 comma 4 comma negative 3, that would be 1, 2, and then we have 1, 2, 3. So we have 1, 2, 3. So this would be point A. And our point B would be at negative 6. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then positive 9. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here. Okay. And here is point B. Okay. And point A is at 2, comma, negative 3. Point A and B, yun po yung line, nagpa-pass through siya sa line na yun, and it also passes, uh, the line also passes through the center of the circle. Hence, the center of the circle, it would be the midpoint of segment AB. For us to get the coordinate of the center of the circle, then we will use the midpoint formula. We still remember the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula is, that would be x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 comma y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So this would be our midpoint formula. So either, kung sino man yung mauna, it's either A or B, basta um, in accordance yung ating coordinates. So we have here x sub 1, so maging x sub 1 natin si A, dito si y sub 1, and here is y, y, x sub 2, and this is y sub 2. So we'll be having x sub 1, that is 2, plus x sub 2, that would be negative 6 over 2, sorry, over 2, comma, y sub 1, that is negative 3, and then our y sub 2, that would be positive 9 over 2. Alright, so the coordinate of the midpoint would be 2 plus negative 6, that would be negative 4 over 2, comma, Negative 3 plus 9, that would be positive 6 over 2. Okay? And so, simplifying this one, the coordinate of the midpoint would be at negative 2 comma positive 3. And if we, have, if we are now given the, the coordinate of the midpoint, then we are, we are now given the coordinate of our center of the circle, which is at negative 2 comma 3. Hence, if we're going to draw that, that, this will be our circle. Okay. Okay. So, we are now given the center of the circle. We can actually plug it in our standard equation already. Though, we still not have the radius. So, ano pong gagawin natin? So, that would be what? That would be x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. We are still not given the radius. But, we all know ang ating center of the circle. So, we can just plug in the center of the circle here. We have x minus, or x minus negative 2 square plus y minus 3 square equals r square. And by simplifying this one, we have x plus 2 square plus y minus 3 square is, is equal to our, uh, the square of the radius. Now, um, since we are given... We are given two points here, which passes through uh, our two points, which is on the circle. Then, we can actually substitute either A or B here for us to get the radius. Since, um, mas maliit yung value or mas maliit yung mga values ni, ng coordinates ni A. So, si A yung ating um, isubstitute sa ating formula. So, that would be, ang x natin is 2 plus 2 square plus that's ang y natin would be this one that would be negative 3 minus 3 square is equal to r square and simplifying this one we have 4 square plus negative 6 square that's negative 3 minus 3 it's negative 6 equals r square and by this one we have 16 plus negative 6 square that would be positive 36 equals r square and uh, to simplify this, this would be 52 equals r square.
And for us to get the value of the radius, we still need to extract the root of both sides, yielding to r equals the square root of 52. We can simplify this square root of 52 as, this can be factored to 4 times 13, hence this can be simplified to 2 square root of 13. Okay? Uh, if you want to check whether the, the radius is correct or not, we can actually substitute it to the other point, which is point B. Okay? So now, we are given the radius at negative 2, 3 and the radius at 2 square root of 13. Hence, again, uh, let us just rewrite. The center is at negative 2, 3 and the radius is at 2 square root or the radius is 2 square root of 13, then we can have the standard form of the equation of the circle, 8x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. Okay? And, and then we have x minus negative 2 square plus y minus 3 square equals the square of 2 square root of 13. Okay, and by simplifying this one, we can actually have x plus 2 square plus y minus 3 square equals, if we simplify this one, that, that is actually 52. Hence, this, the standard form of the equation of the circle, we're in, a, we're in the line which passes through the center of the circle, and at a, at 2 comma negative 3, and at b, at negative 6 comma 9 would be, x plus 2 square plus y minus 3 square equals 52. And that's how we get the standard form of the equation of the circle.